Aloha! Hey guys, so it is Tiny Tom Logan. Now I'm going to break my cardinal rule and I'm going to use the microphone like a hold it up microphone because I've turned the game down a little bit because I'm at Asus Republic of Gamers. Now I'm at Asus Republic of Gamers but it is so busy here. It is insane. Now there are a few things that I want to show you. I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet though because I do have to come back tomorrow, which obviously I'll edit in, but I do need to come back tomorrow so that I can talk to you about the new graphics cards. So first things first, I'm going to come straight in to the Thor 3 power supply. Now they're saying it's got uh, GAN MOSFETs. Um, 80 plus titanium or a sync GPU first intelligent voltage stabilizer that is something I am going to love testing um, magnetic switchable OLED display again that's going to be really cool let me just try and show you this on camera So that took a while, longer than it should have done. In reality, ATX 3.1 compatible, 10 year warranty and PCI Gen 5 compatible. I think I said that twice. Uh, this is one of the other things that I did want to show you. And that is the first BTF or Project Zero board that I have seen so far for AMD. And why is it taking so long? Now with Asus, they obviously do have their extra proprietary connector for their own BTF graphics cards but you can still run it with a normal one if you want but I think that's amazing that we finally get a chance to see an AMD based uh, BTF board um, now I'm gonna come round okay so we'll do a quick one just on this just because it's finally in white and I didn't know it came in white uh, Asus UK why have I not got one of these it's white I meant to have everything that turns up in white but anyway Moving on, okie dokie. So, <laughs> I've waited so long to uh, be able to film this. We have to queue up for ages, but it is the first 27 inch 4K OLED, 240 Hertz, display point 2.1. Um, there is a lot to like about this monitor. Um, I'm personally a big fan of a 27 inch. Uh, I'm personally a big fan of 27 inch 4K, so the fact that we can have some OLED sexy goodness within a uh, small space on our desk, I think this is going to be an incredibly popular screen for those of you out there that don't have the real estate to be able to accommodate a 32 inch screen. The only thing that I will say is I did think that the edge of the panel on either side was a little bit thicker than I may have thought. But still, it's a very, very sexy monitor. Okay, so I've gone straight in and I'm going for the ROG U, um, uh, Ryu 4. There's too many names for me to get in on, but the crazy thing for us to talk about here is we have new fans at the top. Yes, but it is the first time we've seen an Asus with a wraparound screen. Now, this is still very much a uh, prototype which is why things don't necessarily look as polished as you may be used to but it is a 2k screen the uh, colors on it are amazing it is not blurry it is a very clean and i'm genuinely although it is massive i'm actually quite looking forward to seeing the final version of this on the market or i should say on my desk Okay, so a cool one for me, mainly because I've actually seen a version of this in the past and I got told it got cancelled, but they've uh, reintroduced the 19,000 Rapture in white, but it's now got AI to be able to help with your um, uh, security, basically. But it is a crazy spec router for home, and for those of us that have white monitors, white systems, white peripherals, having a white router could be the icing on the cake. But because it is one of the super high-end Asus routers, you can bet your bottom dollar 
it's not going to be cheap. Okay then, so we've finally got to the Acer section. Uh, so we have the 5090 here. This is the, this is the new Astral. Uh, I am holding my uh, microphone uh, as close to my mouth as I can do because I know the background noise in this place is going to be insane. But if I get hold of the card, bearing in mind I'm doing this with two hands, they've introduced the uh, fan onto the back of the card to allow for extra cooling and I'm going to say this is going to be the new Strix and I'll explain why in a minute. It is incredibly heavy, you can feel that there's quality there, they've got some aluminium accents on it, they really have paid attention to the design, this feels very special. They do have a liquid cooled version as well which I'm going to admit I'm not particularly sold with. Um, it does feel very bland. Uh, and weirdly, I'm going to say it as well, this is the new Strix. You saw how easy that was for me to pick up. I am not stressing at all. I can work this really easy. And I'm just actually trying to feel, it is a metal backplate, but this feels so very light. This does not feel like Strixes of old. They have downgraded this immensely. There's loads more plastic. There's not an extra, like... A lot of weight to it at all they have brought the astral in they've downgraded the Strix they've also they're going to move the Strix down so you're going to see it in 57 TTI and 5070 as well and it makes so much more sense because they have saved a lot of money on the cooler and now weirdly the expensive one really does feel like the tough they've it's got a much more industrial military feel to it although these parts do look like they should be embossed but they're not that is uh, flat but they've pretty much upgraded the tough in uh, build and aesthetic you can see the aluminium accents down the side and it's brushed uh, and then we have a new prime card thank you very much there is a new Prime card, which will go through the full stack as well. And this really does feel like a slightly slimmer Strix now. They're both as light as each other. This is uh, heavier than the Strix. Still a beautiful card. I'm going to say that this is the one that you're going to buy if you want to paint something, though. You can easily whip the back and the front off without uh, dismantling the whole card. And you can see how light it is because I'm working that with one hand. Same with the Strix, you could spin it around in your hand with a single hand. Um, this actually does feel, weirdly, a little bit more premium than the Strix card, and I'm very surprised by it. Oh, okay. So it is always crazy busy at Asus, but also, as you can see, I'm having to do the microphone this way because uh, it's really loud as well. But I came back on the Tuesday just to film the uh, NVIDIA stuff. They're not actually letting that many people in at the door, so you can imagine how busy it would be if it was a free-for-all. Um, I'm going to apologise to the people that I filmed in front of, because I did, I did just want to get this finished today. I now need to go and try and take some pictures for the website now I've filmed, uh, so I'm going to get in the way again. But make sure you check the website for all of the other content that we're putting live for CES 2025. But for now, this is another video from me, Tiny Tom Logan, out.